Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. The US 30 there had a particularly volatile session coming off the lows, bouncing through potential support at 17.361 to um, push on that little bit higher. Still down for the day, but we're making a little bit of momentum this morning, but we are making a pattern of lower highs in the candles indicative of further pressure uh, potentially around the corner. Uh, so the markets have come up quite strongly after uh, the US retail sales um, really massively missed expectations but then we had a late jump in crude oil uh, which went up about four and a half percent potentially a short squeeze and people exiting short positions but that added a little bit of extra strength to a lot of global equity markets late on in the session but it feels transitory in nature and crude oil is probably going to be under pressure again if it was in fact short squeeze rather than anything else since supply um, came in at about, or the inventory yesterday uh, was expected just below 500,000 and it came in at about 5 million. So there is definitely an overabundance of, uh, of crude sloshing around in the market. So just be a bit wary of that crude price in the short term. Uh, UK 100 is uh, off its session highs, drifting back lower towards 64.15. A technical break below that obviously opens up a move much lower. Moving on to Japan 225, uh, dollar yen has had a bit of a rebound, um, but still we are at 117. So, um, well, you can see right here, it's actually on the daily candles, it does look like it's a bullish engulfing pattern quite significantly. That might be a hammer formation on the candlesticks, uh, usually hammering out the bottom. Uh, we've had a follow through there today. Um, could be, it still looks like some sort of weird head and shoulders formation potentially. Um, developing uh, we're coming close to the 2155 period SMA we're a good bit away from potential resistance but we are at the top end of the range which is quite interesting for um, uh, Japan 225 uh, I guess you've always got the spike of the equity markets plus dollar yen rebounding adding extra love onto there um, looking at uh, dollar yen in particular you can see the candle isn't quite as strong, but we do have this hammer formation. Uh, it closed pretty much bang on potential support or resistance at uh, 117 spot 36. It's still bouncing around there right now. If we continue to drift lower and don't have any meaningful bounce, then we'll be looking at 114 spot 74 for the next potential support level. So moving on to West Texas crude, as we mentioned, it had a, a big bounce yesterday. It's got a doji formation right now just at the start of the day. It's not following through with any... Uh, conviction that kind of leads a lot of traders to think this is just a short this is in fact just a short squeeze um, longer term potential support still remains at $35 should weakness continue in this market um, moving on to gold uh, and gold very volatile uh, you can see it, it tried again after non after uh, the retail sales figure yesterday we shot right back up so this is like a, a tweezer top um, which usually would be quite a negative sign up for reversal uh, coming up close to 1242 which was a potential resistance and we're moving lower this morning so with this technical formation right here uh, adds a lot of pressure uh, on gold making it very tough for it to break above 1242 but you can't argue with the fundamentals if uh, a lot of data continues to disappoint at the US and the retail sales figure yesterday was particularly bad um, but equities are trying to muster some sort of move to the upside uh, which will obviously be adding a little bit of pain to gold as well. So um, I'll just see what happens. But the, the, this candlestick formation is not that good uh, for the bulls on gold in the short term. So finishing up with uh, GBP and Euro dollar, Euro dollar drifting again, uh, spinning top formation, just showing indecision yesterday. Uh, it's been all over the place the last couple of days. Um, but one spot 1872 is the potential resistance one spot 1642 is a potential support that hasn't changed uh, we are in the middle of two ranges right now uh, but we are getting closer and closer to january 22nd which is when the ecb potentially might come out with a statement regarding potential quantitative easing so finishing up with gbp usd as you can see there we had a little bit of a surge above one spot 5185 which is good, could be acting as a new support level uh, on cable, so we can target one spot 54.24. Failing that, a break below that opens up the tip of this candle right here, down one spot 50, but the longer term potential support level has remained constant for quite some time. Downtrend still intact, one spot 48.13 is the next potential support level to be aware of. So market calendar data, you've got uh, a lot coming out today. You've got German GDP, you've got employment data out of the US, and you also have uh, the Philly Fed numbers at three o'clock. And then if we fast forward on to Friday, uh, we've got German CPI, uh, Harmonized CPI, Eurozone CPI, 
and industrial production and US CPI and uh, uh, University of Michigan sentiment data due out as well. So between today and tomorrow, there's actually a huge amount of macro data that could uh, add fuel to the fire for this market, either for the upside or the downside. So just be aware of when it's coming out. And as ever, make the chart forum, part of your layout, some real cool stuff on here. Make sure you get a chance to um, look at the analysis, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.